YouTube, this is my review of the 511 VTAC LBE Molly Gear Vest. I purchased this at Shooter's World for $99.99. Um, they had very few of them. They had various colors. They had black, they had the desert tan, um, and of course the olive drab that you see before you. I got the olive drab because I wanted more of a more of an old school army look to it. And, and besides, whether in day or night, I think all of drab camouflage is pretty good. Um, again, I got this for a hundred bucks. Very happy with it. Uh, this I plan. Th this vest will serve as my WROL vest, my survival vest, my shooting vest. Uh, I'm gonna put a uh, loadout on it, and uh, for my that fits my personal my personal opinions and needs and, and what I think that I should have. I plan to get a large drop pouch for it, a holster for it. Uh, I got a double mag on the left for a 9mm clip pouch, as you can see. But I want to get a couple of um, maybe an AK and AR-15 mag pouches. I, I don't want to pack it too big. Um, but this is something that I want to just grab and go when I got everything. I want my water attached to the back of it, my, my canteens. Um, I want a small med kit. A large pouch to put various ammos in it, shotgun ammos, uh, anything that I might need, maybe even a cuff case in the back. Um, the sky's the limit. I mean, you have a lot of real estate with this vest. You can do, you can configure it in so many ways, but some people overdo it. I'm just, I'm going to really compactly arrange it where I've got everything, but it's not uh, a heavy load. LBE stands for Load Bearing equipment okay this is a load bearing equipment vest what that means let's just zoom in this is molly gear okay you can put holders through these things and attach your loadouts to them like i have done with this double mag pouch this double mag pouch is an aftermarket pouch i got at a gun show okay for my two nine millimeter mags they're adjustable in length these come off like so All right, that's pretty much how the webbing works. Latches like such, uh, go in there, boom. You put your holster on there, anything that you need. The review isn't on this, it's on the vest. YKK zippers, very durable stuff. Very durable. You got the double plastic buckles here. Boom, come out like so. So you got you get security with the vest. You put this thing, it's, it's going to stay on. Um, this vest has a variety of features to it. Um, it has an internal document pouches on the left and right side. I'll show you those. Hydration pocket on the interior back. I'll show you that. It has an interior grab handle for officer safety. Okay, that's that there. You got a man down, officer down, soldier down, or whatever. They got this vest securely on with a zipper double buckles. Who's to say they can't slide out when you're dragging them like this, but um, you got this thing securely on and you got it fitted. Uh, you, chances are you might not slip out of it. Who knows? It could happen, but this is what this is for. All right. And you get a rubberized upper chest web. I don't entirely know why this part's rubberized and this isn't. Um, probably some chest gear may be ab 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 abrasive. Some some loadouts might be uh, too abrasive for the Molly gear, so I guess you can put them there. I really don't don't know yet. But that's what I gander. Um, you have a Velcro patch there, so you can put your name tag, you can put your uh, badge on it, maybe even your fire team logo on it as well. On the back, more webbing. More Molly gear. You have a very big um, patch of Molly gear that has Velcro on it. So the 511 site shows different variations of this. People put their sheriff's patch on there, or the, you know, police patch, FBI. Or you can put your, uh, your uh, team logo on it, team discovery channel or something. I don't know. All right. You've got adjustable straps for the girth. 
on both sides. You can adjust the uh, girth. This size is a regular. That's a regular. When I, when I went to Shooter's World, they came in extra large and even double X large. And you had a regular, and I think you had a small. The regular would fit anyone. It looks like between a medium and a large, maybe even an extra large. If you can adjust the girth on both sides and adjust the, uh, the length of the vest with the shoulder straps here. So a regular would fit, would fit pretty, much, pretty much most people. All right, let's look inside. Put these zippers down. All right, inside the vest. Like I said, you got these girth. They've got the loophole straps and you got the Velcro on this on both sides. So you can really widen these out if you got a, a bigger belly than most folks. There's the handle there I talked about. This is the internal pocket on the, on the back, okay? Uh, you can drop your hydration pack in there. Um, I actually am experimenting with certain body armors, and I'm dropping body armor in there, point blank body armor in there. So it's a, a small, uh, a small firearm, soft uh, vest, combat armor. So I'm going to drop that in there. Um, the internal document pouches I took. I told you about. And that took some effort to open. They're strapped in there with Velcro. Okay, so you can put your internal documents there. Uh, this vest might serve law enforcement better than anything because you have these these pockets. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but um, not to say you couldn't use it in a combat situation. But these again are for, are for you know you got a cop serving a warrant high-risk warrant, boom, he's got his papers in there, got some other documents there, maybe some pictures, and maybe he can collect some evidence there in there, I don't know. Um, police re report stuff in there, but you can also use this to store maybe maybe some power bars, maybe some Nutri-Grain bars, maybe some some small meal bars, energy bars that you need when you're doing your running and gunning, when you're doing your, your uh, training. As I will do, um, I plan to go out in the desert and woods like I always do for a couple of days and just survive out there and have my, my vest just to really test the gear and not only that to keep my combat skills sharpened you have pockets on both sides all right so it's a lot of documents or power bars whatever you like you know you can put your cuffs in there not to say that you can't put a cuff pouch in the back why would you put it here but maybe something else you got to secure in there. You can do that. All right, got the 511 stamp right there. And that's my review of, of this vest. Best. Uh, I got it for 100 bucks. It was a Best Buy. I'm going to make a video later showing my complete loadout of this vest. Um, I'm going to get a large drop pouch, um, a couple more ammo, ammo holders, uh, um, magazine holders on it, a uh, pistol holder. Uh, holster um, maybe even put a cell phone holder on it so there's so many things that you can do so much real estate that this vest can serve you for um, I highly recommend it check it out come back with me later on a couple weeks I'm gonna have my loadout complete and I'll show you all the cool stuff I plan to do with this vest thanks for watching